Okay, so this is dried overnight. We're just gonna take a sanding block and try to smooth out some of the rough areas. So around the edge over here, just working gently. You can see how it's coming off. It's a little bit of roughness right here. And we're just gonna try to prep, make a nice smooth surface for our second coat. See a little bit of roughness right in here. We'll just take that down. And we're gonna do that throughout. So you'll see, just working it gently, smoothing it out. After I do this entire area, I'm gonna start the second coat of mud. Okay, so I just finished sanding. I'm just gonna wipe off some of the dust. You see a lot of dust still flying off the wall as I'm prepping for a second coat of mud. You can see how much smoother a lot of those areas were. All right, second coat of mud. I'll actually show you right here. I'm just gonna really work on trying to cover up these uneven spots, make sure the tape's no longer visible. And again, don't use too much. Just start out with a little bit at a time and try to cover up all those imperfections. You wanna make sure you don't have any bubbling in your mud, so just work it, make sure it's a nice consistency. It'll help it to dry and it'll make the rest of the job a lot easier. So I'm just gonna apply the second coat of mud and we'll check in when we're done with that. Okay, so I put the second coat of mud on. It's on a little bit thick right now. I'm gonna start taking it down. Remember, you don't wanna leave big sloppy glops of mud all over the wall like this. So you just take it down nice and smooth. A few passes on each area. You can see the second coat's really hiding the tape. I can no longer see the tape coming through. I'm just gonna work it nice, nice and slow. And you see already, we're starting to really hide where the tape was. All the seams are going to be hidden. We're probably going to need a third coat on this. But again, three thin coats is the way to go. Much better than blobbing it on and having to sand it down. Because if I leave big chunks like this, it's going to take me a very long time to sand down versus just taking it off nice and thin. So I'm going to finish this up and we'll check in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at greaterctrealestate.com.